Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Gudello, or however you say that, condenser microphone. To be exact, the Podcast U100 microphone. So, that should be pretty sweet. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so here we have the microphone. Um, Gudel, hello, um, sent this to me. Thank you guys so much for that. It looks to be a nice microphone based on the packaging. They did a good job with the packaging. It has some weight to it, so... We'll see what's in store. It's nice because it plugs into your USB port on your computer and you can use it with the arm and stand and uh, various things it has or you can use it without. So first of all we have this extended warranty card. We have the user guide slash manual. And here's the windscreen. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. That's the windscreen that will reduce the breathing from your voice and the wind. So hopefully this is helpful. And as you can see, there are a lot of different things in here. So I keep pulling stuff out. Here is a clamp that will clamp it to your table if you want to use the arm and stuff. And here's a screw to go into it. And here's what the mic actually sits in. It goes in the top. And this will go into the arm. And here is the actual extendable arm. You can clamp it to the table, and you should be able to swivel it, and you should be able to adjust the mic position. Here is the windscreen, in addition to the one we have. This goes actually on the mic, as we'll see in a second. And here is what you'll plug into the mic and then into your computer to use it to record. So, looks to be a fairly long cord, and it's nice. You don't have to have any adapters or anything. I've used other mics where you've had to have an adapter, so that's pretty awesome. Here is another um, piece, it must be the mic can go in this as well, I'm not sure quite yet. And like I was saying, you don't have to use this arm, you can also use the mic just on this little stand if you want, so that's nice, I like that. I like that they have both options. And here we go, here's the actual mic, fairly uh, weighty, that should be a good sign, feels nice, it's metal. Seems to be pretty good quality, it's nice that it has um, a gain or volume feature on the front. There's even an LED light that must light up when you're recording or something. And there's even a mute button, so that will be interesting. I haven't had one with that before, so we'll have to try it out. So, so far, we have all of our pieces out, our mic, our um, cords, cables, whatever. And everything seems to be fairly good quality, so, so kudos to that. That's pretty awesome. And the mic is awesome how it has features on the device, so let's actually start assembling some of the stuff and see what we can do. So if you just want to use it on the little tripod, you'll have to use a piece and I think you'll be using this piece. Screw this in like this. Make sure it's tightened properly so it doesn't fall out. And then this goes into this part and you screw that on as well. So there's one way of doing it on a little tripod and you can put your windscreen on. So there we go. We have a windscreen and a mic. And then you'll just plug in the, looks like a printer port, it's a squarish shape, and you plug that in then your USB into the computer. There's that, let's try the other way. It doesn't tell too much about how to assemble stuff, so you'll just have to figure it out yourself. But it looks like, looks like it just rests in this position, and then you screw this tight down here to tighten it. Make sure it's level, and then tighten. And so this setup is different. It's supposed to reduce as much um, noise that you don't want as possible. So that will be handy. Let's see how well it works. Now we got this. We'll put it into this right here. So now we have that screwed on. And you can move this up and down. You can tighten it and do all kinds of stuff. All right, so tighten it to your desired position. And it's still a little flexible. So tighten more if you want it super tight. And it's harder to move but it still can some, but it won't jerk and fall and stuff like that. There's another thing you can adjust here for this whole thing. So tighten it to your desired position. And there's various other things you can tighten to get to your favorite position. But here is how you attach the um, clamp, which you can attach to a table or something. Just be careful that it doesn't scratch stuff that is important. So you insert this into here. And then there's a hole and you'll take the screw to tighten it. This will keep um, the microphone arm in this 
clamp that will be attached to your table. So, so you'll have to adjust this right here and open it up so that you can actually get it onto the table. Looks like there's a little paint scratched off there. That's unfortunate, but I don't care too much. So here we go. We have the mic set up on this table because the other one was too thick, but as you can see, it moves smoothly and nicely. Um, if it doesn't, it might be because of tightened stuff. You just got to mess with tightening and that'll improve things. But yeah, otherwise smooth. Make sure you have a smooth um, table. As you can see, it goes up and down and it's awesome. It moves very smooth. This part right here can move up and down. Just untighten. This was too much, but it proves the point. You can move this part up and down. You can tighten and loosen this one. And this will make this whole head thing move. And down here is more things that you can tighten and loosen. This will allow the arm to move up and down smoothly or tighter or looser. Down here there's some springs and this is what you attach and tighten. This is the clamp. This is tightens the clamp. This tightens the arm to the clamp. So that is a basic overview of the clamp setup. It moves pretty nice and smooth. It's high quality. Make sure you have a nice table, but don't scratch it. Maybe put something in between the table and um, the clamp, but overall nice clamp nice arm setup it's a great way to reduce noise that you don't want they have various features to help with that so this can also pivot from side to side tighten it to where you want it to be and then you can move it so it can move pretty smooth sometimes it might be jerky but so it's a nice mic setup to help you prevent um, noises that you don't want getting into your audio feed so they have numerous things in place up here and the windscreen and you can attach the other windscreen so here's the mic setup with the additional windscreen that goes in front of the microphone so you have a double protection plus this over here which is supposed to reduce motion and you got a nice arm that will help you reach it to where you want it so overall nice arm um, nice clamp great quality it moves smoothly just tighten it and loosen it to get it to the desired positions smoothness etc so it may be a little tricky setting up this um, because it wants to slide around if it's um, down low but if you get it out over top it's the best position so far I've noticed so it'll take some experimenting but great mic setup so that was the arm setup. It's a very nice setup, um, great quality. It can move pretty smooth. It's metal, great arm. Just, it's a little tricky sitting, setting up the windscreen to exactly how you'd like, but overall, great arm. Um, it's a great to have extra noise um, reducing features on in this mic set, so that's awesome. And it wasn't too hard to set up um, the arm and the rest of it. It was just the... Uh, um, windscreen that was a little tricky getting it to how you would like but once you get that just it should go pretty smoothly from there um, tighten and loosen those knobs so that you can move the mic around smoothly to the places you want and then tighten it back to how you would like it so the smoothest of the whole mic setup varies but the top is where it will be the least smoothest but it's not bad That being said, let's actually try out the audio quality of this mic. So here we go. We have the mic, and as you can see, there's a green light to show it's on. There's the mute button lights up as well. So it recognizes that it's been plugged in. I am going to record in a second, and we'll see how this sounds. So I have it set up. I'm going to start it out low with no gain or volume. Switching over now. Testing, 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 testing testing so that is that full volume now and you can get a good um listen to what it sounds like so i like that it has the feature of turning the volume up and down straight on the microphone so if you needed to turn it down real fast you could just go to the mic and do it not have to go to various settings on your pc or mac so that is awesome i'm going to try the mute feature and that is just by pushing the button 
I'm back on now. Nothing was coming out. Um, it was red when the mute was on, and it's back on to blue when it's not on. So that is awesome. Great, great feature. So overall, that sounded pretty well. And I love the features of this. The volume on here and the mute is pretty awesome. It's a great mic, great quality. I, I really applaud Gudello. It's not just because I'm sponsored in this video. It is quality and it's a great feature for a fairly budget price. So, so since you can hear the audio quality of this mic, you can make an actual decision for yourself as to whether or not this is good or not. Um, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, I have the windscreen on and it will be affected by adding windscreens that will reduce wind noise plus your voice as well. So just remember that. Audio quality, great. Good job, guys. It's great for a budget um, microphone setup, so that is awesome. So let's take an overall view of this so far. The quality of the products have been pretty well. They have nice materials, and they've been made with a quality touch. So you have metals, plastics, foam, and they've all been made well. I, I appreciate that. So quality of all the products is great as far as build. So as far as features, great as well. On the mic, you get volume, you get a mute button, you get lights showing you whether it's muted or whether it's on. So that is awesome. I like that you get two features as well. You get a tripod and you get the arm, which is awesome that you have both these features to suit both types of people in various situations. So that is awesome. The arm was nice because you could move it around, get it to where you want. The only thing I had a problem with really was um, setting up the windscreen to how you'd like, but you wouldn't have to use that, but it's nice that it's there. This will probably work just fine for most people to use this one, so that's not a huge concern. Once again, tighten it and loosen the knobs to get it to the places you want and tighten and loosen again to get it just right. So that will require some experimenting, some trial and error, some whatever, but it moves pretty well. Overall, great feature set, and as far as audio, great as well. This is a great product. I'd recommend it. I will be using this now that I've gotten this and it's not just for this video. I'll be using this more in the future. It's a nice product and I am impressed by it. Overall, great job Gudello. You should get the Podcast U100. I would recommend it. Not just because I'm sponsored. It is a great product. It has a great feature set, great quality, great audio quality. So I would recommend it. And it's all at a great price, so go check out the Gudello Podcast U100. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, please comment questions you may have, and I'll try to answer them if possible. And please subscribe if you like my content and you were helped by this video. So thanks again to Gudello for making this video possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.